listening to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Welcome, everybody, back to Mile City, Montana. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the ninth game of the tournament on the 2018 A American Legion Montana State Tournament. And, wow, last night, folks, what a game. I mean, we had some good baseball. And we had a pitching change, and things kind of went a direction we didn't expect to see. But that's the way it goes with baseball. So we just uh, play on. We're going to go ahead and jump into today's matchup between the Gallatin Valley Outlaws and the Missoula. I mean, the this is going to be a tough one for me, for folks. It's Miles City Mavericks, not the Missoula Mavericks. And we'll start with the Outlaws, who are the visiting team. Number 12, Derek DeFrance. He is the left fielder leading off. Ryan Murphy. The first baseman, number 25, will bat second. Batting third will be Hunter Johnson, the catcher, number 17. The pitcher, number 8, Michael Nehring, will bat fourth. Batting fifth is Michael Jones, number 7. He'll be the shortstop. Hanging out in right field will be number 92, Kyle Grevis. He is the six-hole batter. Batting seventh is number 24, Thomas Carlson. He's a third baseman. The second baseman, Brady Jones, number 6, will bat eighth. Batting ninth and rounding it out, is the center fielder, number 20, Connor Johnson. Now for the Miles City Mavericks, number 23, Michael Christofferson. He is the left fielder starting things off. Number 18, Jaden Venable will be getting things going in the two-hole spot. He is the catcher, number 5, Jess Bellows. Batting in the third spot, he's a shortstop. Number 25, Jared Bellows. He will bat fourth in the third base spot. Designated hitter Nathan Zard. As we have our national anthem, we'll step aside. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to Denton Field as we just had the National Anthem sang by one of the Miles City Mavericks. What a special moment that is to have one of your teammates sing the National Anthem for you before you get into play. So we're going to go ahead and slide this window back open and get ready for action. Getting back to our 
lineup. Batting in the fifth spot for Miles City will be number 27, Nathan Zard. He's a designated hitter. Caden Hager, number six. He'll be the right fielder. will bat six. Batting seventh, number 21, Jack Klein. He is the second baseman. Cameron Murray, the first baseman, number nine, will bat eighth. And rounding it out is Kip Krebsbach. On the bump for the Outlaws will be Michael Nering. And for the Mavericks, it's number 13, Nick Anderson. And, folks, you're going to have to bear with me on this one because my home team, the team that I stream for on a regular basis, they are the Missoula Mavericks. So if I slip up and I say Missoula Mavericks, well, I'll slap myself later and don't judge me, all right? We're going to get going here as the pitchers are warming, pitcher is warming up and we get set to go for action. This is game number nine on the tournament. We'll have one, four, and seven today on our games. Tomorrow it'll be one and four. And then on Sunday, championship day, if we need to have a semifinal game, we'll have that at one o'clock and then the championship game. The true championship game will be at 4. If not, well, championship Sunday will be right at 1 o'clock. So we'll be ready to go and excited about that. Our umpires today behind the plate will be Kelly Ope. First base line is Jeff Hill and John Harris will stand down the third base line. We're ready to go for Derek DeFrance. And our first pitch is over the plate for ball 1 at 12.57. Second pitch will be ball two, as I've got to adjust my screen here so I can see properly. Maybe clean it off from being at the baseball field. It gets a little dusty. There we go. Now we can see it. And we move to 3-0 on the first batter of the day. Nick Anderson, man on the bump, and he'll get into the count at 3-1. The stretch and this one's going to be knocked high over shortstop center fielder will race in to get it it's in the glove and the first batter of the game is retired so Ryan Murphy the first baseman will come to the plate now with one out and nobody on last night we were able to get a game in for you guys it was the Red Sox of the Bitterroot and Belgrade, first pitch will slide over the plate for strike one to Murphy. And we had a good game through the first four or five innings. And then we had a pitching change and things got a little bit out of hand. Here's the pitch and we'll be even at one. So Murphy, the first baseman at the plate. We put Hunter Johnson in the on-deck circle with one out and no, um, nobody on. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one's going to be hit high into center field, and once again, center fielder will come up and get the pop out for out number two. So two down. One to go in the first inning, and we go to the catcher, number 17, Hunter Johnson. With the stretch, and the first pitch to Johnson will be over the plate for strike one. Nick Anderson of the Mavs, Mavericks. Here's the pitch, and we'll be even at one. That one came in just a little bit high. And where we're staying here in Miles City, we I ran into the umpire, Kelly Ope, last night in her hotel. Had a good conversation with him as the batter will foul it off to go 1-2. The 1-2 pitch. And this one's going to be banged high into left field on his horse and riding out there. The center fielder will put it in the glove, and that's the side. So 1-2-3. In the first half of the first inning, we go to the bottom of the first, scoreless. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at mpsn406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.mpsn406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. mpsn.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network at Denton Field in Miles City, Montana. As we get set for the ninth game of the day, we're halfway through the first inning. Scoreless between the Outlaws and the Mavs, and it is the Miles City Mavs up first. Christofferson, Venable, and Bellows to bat for... Miles City. Our game time temp is 89 degrees. We've got a clear sky, a slight bit of a haze. It cleared out compared to what we had yesterday. A little bit of a wind last night, which kind of blew things out. But I noticed on the news that we did have a grass fire start out here in the area. So it's that time of year, folks. Driving over from Bozeman yesterday. Things still looking somewhat green, but it's that time of year. August in Montana means fire season, and, well, we're just about there. On the bump for the Outlaws is number eight, Michael Nering. He's warming up and getting ready to go. Our umpire, Ope, will clean the plate off, and we'll see our first batter at the plate. The left fielder, number 23, Joel Christofferson. Stofferson to settle in, and the first pitch of the inning is on its way high for ball one. It was pretty warm in the press box when we came in here. The sun full blaze as it was right into the press box, but it's starting to make its way over the top, and the second pitch will be hit off of the batter's ankle. Foul, and will be even at one. Jaden... Venable in the on-deck circle for the Mavericks. Here's the 1-1. And a check swing. They're going to say he did commit, so we'll have strike two. Lead-off batter here in the first inning. Pretty neat little field here, Denton Field at Connor Stadium. It's a football and baseball complex as the second pitch or third pitch will slide in to even us out at two. So home of the Miles City Cowboys football program. And then this one's going to be hit. A roller out into left field and the Mavericks will have a runner on to start the game on a base hit. So that brings us to the catcher. Number 18, Jaden Venable. He'll settle in with one on and no outs. Mavericks looking to go to work right here. As runner at first takes a good lead. Here's the pitch and the bunt laid down right to the pitcher. They're going to throw it to the second baseman. They'll get the leadoff man and the fielder's choice. And we have one down, so good job. Good defensive play by Gallatin Valley, and they get down the leadoff batter. That brings us to number five, the shortstop, Jess Bellows. We're going to see two Bellows in a row. 
And this one's going to be hit right at the pitcher. Shortstop will get it on the glove. The throw to first is in time. No. So they'll get the fielder's choice once again, and a man hangs at first. So we go to Jared Bellows now. And Bellows is going to knock this one deep into the gap. It's going to roll deep. We'll have runner around second on his way to third. And they say, come on, home, son. The throw will not be made home. And the Mavericks punch a run up on the board to make it one nothing with two outs. And Jared Bellows. Gives us to the designated hitter, Nathan Zard. So with two outs and a runner at second, Mavericks going to work with one run on the board. And catcher wants to check in with his pitcher. Sometimes it's a good thing to do right after a hit to lead off on a game like that, a run scored. Baseball is more of a mental game than it is a physical game. I mean, you have to have some good physicality but the hardest part of the game is the mental game. So the first pitch is on its way to the designated hitter. And it'll be low to get us to ball one. Caden Hager in the on-deck circle with two outs and one on. Galton Valley with some good infield play to knock down the first two batters, but uh, Mavericks finding a way to get a hit, and the pitch will... Get us to ball two. Two zero. Runner at second with the lead. Narig will check him, and now the pitch. And we'll slide over the plate to get us in, get the pitcher into the count at two one. One run earned by the Mavericks right out of the gate. The pitch. That one's going to be down the first baseline and it's going to be foul and will be even at two on the count. Narek trying to control where that ball comes off the bat. Trying not to lay anything up there for these Maverick hitters. The stretch and the 2-2. Two -two. This one's high down the first baseline. First baseman thinks he's going to be able to get it, but it's going to be, oh, he had a chance but could not put it in the glove, and the batter will stay alive at 2-2. Two -two. That one was playable. Murphy doing a good job to get to the fence, had it in the glove, but was not able to hold on to it. So batter will get a chance once again the stretch and we'll go full on the count at 3-2 so our 4 o'clock game will have Laurel and Belgrade and this will put a runner at first now on the walk So with two outs, the Mavericks have runners at first and second. That takes us to the right fielder, number six, Caden Hager. And Hager will foul it back for strike one. Had the game last night with the Red Sox in Belgrade. As I mentioned earlier, I did run into Ope at the motel. And he was talking about how the Red Sox were just swinging on pitches that they felt were good and fouling a lot off. That will run your pitcher through his pitch count as we'll have strike one, or strike two, I apologize, to the right fielder. 
0-2 on the count with two outs. Runners at first and second. Bottom of the first inning. One run on the board. Nerig with the stretch. And the, sec- the inning will be cashed aside off of the strikeout. So run one run earned, two left on. And we go to the top of the second, one nothing. Mile City. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is Missoula's one stop for hockey and lacrosse team. Welcome back to MPSN as we go to the top of the second inning where the Mile City Mavericks lead Gallatin Valley 1-0. Here's the first pitch on the leadoff batter, and it is the pitcher, Michael Nehring. And he'll have ball one thrown at him by Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson doing a good job to control the ball in the first inning as we go even at one. And this one's going to be down the third base line to get us strike two. Nearing. Settling in. Pitcher versus pitcher duel. This one's going to be hit line drive into left field. And the Outlaws will have their first runner on. That brings us to Michael Jones, the shortstop, number seven. No outs and a runner at first. Out, outlaws trying to get something going now. Anderson with the stretch. And this one's going to be a line drive into right field. A little hop in front of the right fielder. The throw will not be made. And runners at first and second now. So nearing at second, Jones at first, and we come to the right fielder, Kyle Grevis. Looks down the third baseline to get his call and settles into the box. Anderson now with the stretch, and this one's going to be hit to the third baseman. The tag at third, the throw to first, and the double play is turned. To leave a runner at second. Nice job on the 5-3 double play. So we go to Thomas Carlson, the third baseman. And Carlson's going to have this one get by the first baseman. It's going to roll up the right field line. Throw to th- home will not be in time. No tag. And the Outlaws equalize. Jones in from second to earn the run. And with two outs. That brings us to Brady Jones, and the first pitch to Jones will be a ball. This one's going to be to the first baseman, and that's the side. So 
We equalize at one, top of two. We go to the bottom of the second right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the bottom of the second inning where we're tied at one between the Outlaws of Gallatin Valley and the host team, Miles City Mavericks. And it's the bottom of the order for the Mavericks. Seven, eight, nine batters with Jake Klein. Jack Klein to lead off the second baseman, Cameron Murray. And Crispin in the hole. Nehring with the first pitch of the inning, and it's going to be swung on foul down the first base line for strike one. Nehring leans in to get the pitch and the stretch now. And this one's going to be bounced out to the shortstop. He'll back up, throws to first. It's on target. And the leadoff batter is punched out by Jeff Hill. And we come to Cameron Murray, the first baseman. Murray, a left-hander, settles into the box. Here's the stretch by Nearing, and it's going to be hopping on the plate for ball one. Crispin in the on-deck circle with one out. Pitch thrown. We'll get us to ball two. 2-0 two -oh on the count. Nairing with the stretch. And it'll slide over the plate to get Nairing into the count at 2-1. Murray settles in. Swings on it, and it's going to roll to the third baseman. The throw to first is on target, and we've got two outs on the inning. So we go to the bottom of the order now. Number one, Kip Krebsbach, the center fielder. So two up, two down here in the bottom of the second, tied at one. Krebsbach, center fielder. Gets the pitch, and that one is going to be over the plate for strike one, says Olp. Top of the order stands in the on-deck circle for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and we'll go 0-2. Nairing with the stretch. Swung on and fouling back. Keeps the batter alive. As I mentioned, this Denton Field is home of the Miles City Cowboys. Also the home of the Miles City Mavericks Legion baseball team. And the pitch on the way. Letting it go by and it'll be ball one. Good patience by the batter to let that one slide by. Nairing with the stretch, but also the Miles City Community College. Pioneers as we get an even count at two. Now that Krebsbach is being patient at the plate. The 2-2. Two -two. 
And the last out of the inning will be the same as the last out in the first inning as Naring will strike out the batter. We'll be back with the top of the third right after this, tied at one. Welcome back to MPSN as we kept this one live throughout the break. Top of the third inning tied at one between the host city, Miles City Mavericks and the Gallatin Valley Outlaws. Mavericks got here off of a win over Lewiston yesterday, 6-5 in the 1 o'clock game. On the mound is Nick Anderson for his third inning. Pitch is on its way and that one's across the chest for ball one. Connor Johnson, the center fielder, bottom of the order. And we'll have ball two. Anderson now with the stretch on 2-0. And we'll go ball three. Anderson now with the pitch. And he'll get into the count with strike one. So 3-1 on the count. Nobody on. And the leadoff batter on the inning is going to be walked. That'll be the first walk of the game for Anderson. And we swing to the top of the order for the Outlaws to Derek DeFrance. And DeFrance lets it go by for strike one. Checks the runner at first, and now the stretch by Anderson. And will be fouled off for strike two. Outlaws with a run in the last half inning. Michael Jones coming across the plate to get the equalizer. Anderson now with the 0-2, and it's swung on. High down the first baseline, searching for it. It's deep down the line and out of play, and the batter will stay alive at 0-2. So DeFrance, his first at-bat, he would pop it into center field for the first out of the game. First baseman comes back and settles in with his right foot on the bag. Anderson will throw over to first. Here's the pitch by Anderson. Swung on, and this one's going to be high into left field, and left fielder can't find it. It's going to roll all the way to the end line and they're going to hold the runner up at third so runners at second and third now and with a walk to lead off the inning runners at second and third with the double by DeFrance we go to Ryan Murphy the first baseman No outs on the board. 
Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to have some leg. It's deep into left field and over the head of the left fielder. That'll bring runners in from both second and third. Runner stands up at second, and the Outlaws will earn themselves two runs off the double in the left. So 3-1 Outlaws over Miles City, and that's going to warrant a visit to the mound as the infield comes in as well. No ball handed over, so it's just a visit. Folks, if you're getting ready to take a trip, you're planning a trip, well, you should get a hold of our good friends over at Grand Slam Travel. Grand Slam Travel, Mark Richardson over there, he takes care of you. He'll take care of your flight, your hotel room, maybe a few activities if you're interested in the area that you're going to. Grand Slam Travel can be found on Facebook at Grand Slam Travel. Grand Slam Travel, a proud sponsor of the Missoula Prep Sports Network. So we get back into the action here with the visit over, and we go to Hunter Johnson, the catcher. Anderson with the stretch, and will be high for ball one. Michael Nehring in the on-deck circle with runner at second and no outs. This one's going to be cranked hard. Popped into left field, and left fielder not able to put it in the glove. Runner, a little confusion at the outlaw side on the bases, but they'll get back. So runners at first and second. And the outlaws. This one's going to be popped up over our heads for strike one for the pitcher, Michael Nehring. Number eight. So no outs. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch, and it's going to tag the batter, and we'll have our first hit by pitch of the game, and that loads the bases up with no outs. And we come to the shortstop, number seven, Michael Jones. Jones settles into the box, and Anderson with the stretch. Runner, the infielder's coming in expecting bunt, and this one's going to be hit hard into left field. It's in the glove. Runner at third will tag. And the Outlaws will make it 4-1 to one on the sack fly. And Kyle Grievous comes to the plate for the Outlaws. Grievous, the right fielder. Anderson with the stretch. And it's over the plate for strike one. Runners at first and second. We've got one out on the board. And now the catcher will come in and check with his check in with his pitcher. Very brief conference between pet catcher and pet pitcher and catcher. I'll spit it out, folks, eventually. So the sack fly earning a run, earning a run. And this one's down the third baseline. It's going to hug the line. Runner from second is around the corner at third. He is on his way home. Throw will not be made. And runners at first and second. So we come to the third baseman, number 24, Thomas Carson. So one out on the board with runners at first and second, and the pitch to Carson 
will land in front of the plate for ball one. Brady Jones goes to the on-deck circle for the Outlaws as the catcher, catcher is going to take a moment here. One of the Miles City coaches comes out to check with him. And Olp will go out to the mound with Anderson. The batter, Carlson, down the third base line, talking to his coach. And the catcher, with his mask back on, ready to go. Top of the third. Outlaws 5, Miles City 1. Here's the stretch by Anderson, and that one's going to hit the batter. And load the bases up now for Miles City with one out. Brady Jones to the plate for the Outlaws. Here's the pitch. And it'll be over the plate for strike one. Anderson now with the stretch. And this one's going to be bounced out. The second baseman will get it on the hop. The throw to second to first. And the 4-6-3 double play is turned to take the side, leaving runners on for the Outlaws. We go to the bottom of the third with Miles City looking to come back. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to Dent Field in Miles City, Montana. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the bottom of the third inning where the Outlaws poured four runs up on the board to take a 5-1 to one lead over Miles City, the host team. On the mound is Michael Nering for the Outlaws. Top of the order for Miles City and Joel Christofferson. It's Christofferson... Venable and Bellows. So Christofferson to settle in. Some work for Miles City to do here in the bottom of the third. Seven innings on all tournament games. We did see some games stretch out in Kalispell for the double A. First pitch is going to be swung on. It is into right field in the glove, and that's the first out of the inning. So we come to the catcher, Jaden Venable. Venable reaching off a of fielder's choice, his first at bat. Dropped the ball down the third base line, and it was a 5 3 out. Here's Nehring. And his first pitch is going to be sent into center. It'll hop right in front of the center fielder. And the Mavericks are in business with a runner at first. So we go to the younger of the Bellows, Jess Bellows, the shortstop. 
His older brother is in the on-deck circle for the Mavericks. Nehring with the stretch. And this one's going to be hit into center field. Back deep and in the glove, and that's out number two. Here at Denton Field, it's a stretch to get it over the fence in center. It's 438. 312 down the first baseline and 321 down the first. So third is 312, first is 321. 438 to center. Now we come to Jared Bellows and the first pitch by Nearing to Bellows will be a ball. Jared settles in. The pitch, and it's fouled back to even us out on the count. Nathan Zaird goes to the on deck circle with two outs and a runner at first. Nehring checks the runner at first, and now the 1 1. Swung on, and we'll have strike two. For Bellows, he'd have a line drive into left field that would earn a run. Here's the pitch, and... Yeah, and they're going to say bulk. No, no pitch. Okay. Time was called. That's why. All right. Nehring was into his pitch, and runner was on his way at first. So it takes us back to the one-two with two outs. Throw to first. Runner dives back in just in time. Beautiful little field here at Connor Stadium. They've got uh, a couple of baseball fields surrounding it. There's a nice little pond. This one's going to roll past the third baseman, and the center left fielder will pick it up, and that'll put runners at first and second off the hit for the Mavs with two outs. So we come to Nathan Zar, the designated hitter. He was walked his first at bat. Nehring and the catcher having their little conference. And catcher settles back in. So we're ready for the first pitch to the designated hitter. And this one's going to be over the third baseman's head. That'll bring runner around from second. He's on his way home. The throw will be made, but not in time as he slides across the plate. And the Mavericks earn a run off the line drive to get themselves in 5-2 with runners at first and second and two outs. Now we go to Caden Hager, the right fielder. With two outs and runners at first and second. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be foul back for strike one. So 0-1 on the count. Nehring with the pitch, and it'll be ball one. Even at one on the count. Jake Klein in the on-deck circle. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on, and we'll go to strike two.
Hager with a strikeout to finish out the first inning. His first at bat. Bottom of three. Mavericks coming back in 5 2. And the pitch will get us even at two on the count. Neighboring with the stretch, and this one's going to be hit into center field. Center fielder's going to have to run up on it, and he'll put it in the glove, and that's the side. So one run earned, two left on for the Mavericks, and we go to the top of the fourth, 5-2 Outlaws. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. Maybe one outside. You can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third size. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in the pet and the family pet and see what we have in store for your hockey needs. Garden of Breeden has a large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop into Sacred Grounds for their full-service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award-winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the top of the fourth inning where the Gallatin Valley Outlaws lead the Miles City Mavericks 5-2. to two. Mavericks getting one back in that last half inning to get within three. And we will have the bottom of the co- order for Gallatin Valley in their center fielder. Connor Johnson. So Johnson to lead off. Then we swing to the top of the order who is in the on-deck circle. Nick Anderson on the bump. Anderson searching for his first strikeout of the game. And everybody taking a moment here before we are ready to go. So I think there might be some changes on the Maverick side. We'll get to those when they come up. Here's the first pitch by Anderson, and it's going to be off hand grips. Foul. Nope, pops up straight in the air, and Anderson will be responsible for the first out of the inning. So we swing to the top of the order to DeFrance, the left fielder. Here's the pitch, and it will be over the plate. Strike one, two to France. Anderson with the stretch, and we'll get ball one. So even count now to the left fielder. Anderson, and we'll get ball two. Two one on the count. One out. Nobody on, and this one's going to be fouled off, and we'll be even at two. DeFrant settles in. Anderson with the pitch, and this one's going to be golfed out into center field. Center fielder is back. It's in the glove. And that will be two down here in the top of the fourth. Takes us to Ryan. We go to Ryan Murphy, number 25. Murphy, the first baseman. Anderson now with the pitch, and it'll get away from the catcher.
for ball one. Here's the pitch, and this one's going to be hit hard in the center field. Center fielder on his bike, rides out, puts it in the glove, secures it, and that's it. Three up, three down for the Outlaws. We go to the bottom of the fourth where the Mavericks look to add some more runs to get back in. 5-2, Outlaws. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. As we look through the system here, it'll be Klein, Murray, and Krebsbach. Bottom of the order for the Mile City Mavericks here. In the bottom of the fourth, they're down to the Gallatin Valley Outlaws, 5-2, to two, but they did get a run in the last inning, so they're looking to see if they can do it again. And the man to do it, well, that would be their second baseman, Jack Klein. So Klein to settle in. Nehring on the bump, and the first inning pitch of the inning is going to be popped up the air, and it sounds like it's going to land on our roof here for strike one. So Klein, the ground out to short, his first at bat, looking to see if he can get something sparked here for the Mavericks to get them into it. They're down three runs. Here's the pitch, and it'll slide over the plate to get us to strike two. 0-2 on the count. Nehring throwing a good one here. Good pitcher's battle. It did get away from Anderson there in the third. This one's going to be rolled to the third baseman. The throw to first is on target, and that will be out number one. So the grounder to the third baseman takes us to the first baseman, number nine, Cameron Murray. Murray to settle in and Nehring with the pitch. This one's going to be hit off the middle of the bat. It'll go foul into the bullpen down the third baseline for strike one. Outlaws have the third baseline. The first baseline is the home dugout for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch, and he'll let it go by to even us out at one. So an even count at one. with Kip Krebsbach in the on-deck circle. Nehring with the stretch. And we'll have ball two. Two one on the count. Now that the sun has kind of crested over the top of the press box, it's cooled off a little bit in, in here, folks. Here's the pitch. And we'll slide over the plate to get us even at one. So two two on the count to the first baseman the pitch and we'll get a full count one out on the board bottom of four Nearing with the stretch and this one will be hit into the shortstop's glove and that's out number two So we have Kip Krebsbach, bottom of the order, the center fielder, number one in the program and number one in your hearts. 
Here's the first pitch, and he's going to lay the bunt down the first baseline. Picked up, throw to first is on target. They say safe. Jeff Hill at first says runner was there ahead of the ball, and that'll put a runner on with two outs for the Mavericks. So we swing to the top of the order now with two outs and a runner on to Joel Christofferson. Nope, number 16, so I'll have to update that. And the bunt fouled off, and we go 0-2 on the count, or 1-1, okay. First pitch was a ball. Batter getting a little conference from his coach down the first base, third base line, checking in with him. Nehring now with the stretch. Bunt laid down the third base. Nope, it's going to be the first baseline. The pitch to first, and that is the side. So one run, one runner left on for the Mavericks after he got there. We go to the top of the fifth. Outlaws five, Mavericks two. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the top of the fifth inning where the Outlaws own the Mavericks 5-2 on the scoreboard. And our leadoff man on the inning, well, we'll flip this over and get the right side. It is the catcher, Hunter Johnson. First pitch by Anderson will be swung on. It's going to be foul down the third base line for strike one. So Johnson, 0 for 2, reached off an error his last at bat. Anderson now with the stretch. And we'll have an even count at 1. Nick Anderson, throwing a good game. Does have five runs off of six hits, but that uh, those runs aren't all in his side as we have foul off to get us at 1-2. So 1-2 on the way. And this one's going to be hit hard into left field. It's high. Left fielder slips, but he puts it in the glove. And that is out. Number one. Nice job by the left fielder to keep his feet. And we go to the pitcher, number eight, Michael Nary. Here's the pitch. And it'll be a ball. Anderson, 
They ring the pitcher. Pitcher versus pitcher duel, and this one's going to be a blasted foul down the third base line to get us even on the count at one. So Anderson will climb up on the hill. Sets his right foot on the rubber and the stretch. Swung on. And we'll have strike two. Michael Jones the in the on-deck circle. Anderson now. And this one's going to be popped out. Into center. Center fielder runs up. It's in the glove. And that is out number two. So two up, two down here in the bottom of the fifth. Now we go to Michael Jones, the shortstop. So Jones to settle in and the pitch by Anderson. Ducking out of the way is Jones for ball one. Grievous goes to the on-deck circle for the outlaws. Here's Anderson with the stretch. And this one's going to be banged out into left field, and it's in the glove. And it's three up, three down for the Outlaws. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Outlaws five, Mavericks two. You're listening to American Legion Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is one stop. Some changes in life are too painful to go through alone, and Cunningham Law can help in making difficult decisions from divorce to child custody. Kyle Cunningham focuses solely on family law. Cunningham Law will help you land on your feet when big changes come to your family and life. Visit www.familylawmontana.com or give Kyle a call at 406-203-4678 today. Cunningham Law Services. You don't have to go through this alone. Cunningham Law is a proud sponsor of the Northwest Regional Tournament. Welcome back to MPSN, bottom of five on a seven-inning game. The Outlaws out of Gallatin Valley ahead of the Mavericks of Mile City, five to two. It is the two, three, four batter scheduled up for the Mavericks with the catcher, Jaden Venable, at the plate. And the Bellows brothers... Do up. Michael Nairing with the first pitch, and it'll be swung on for strike one. A good slice by Venable. Here's the stretch. And we'll be even at one, so Venable... Aggressive on the first pitch and lets the second one slide by. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one's going to be hit. Line drive into right, and that's in the glove for out number one. So one down, and we go to Jess Bellows, the shortstop. Bellows to settle in. He would earn the first run. Here's the pitch, and it is outside on the right-handed batter for ball one. Next game is at 4 o'clock. That will be Laurel and Belgrade as this one is golfed into right field. It's high, and it's going to hop in front of the right fielder. Runners around first to second, sliding in just ahead of the ball. They're going to punch him out at second. So Bellows getting greedy and trying to get to the second. And he's going to be out for out number one. So 
So we go to Jared Bellows. So two down on the board and nobody on, and we come to Jared Bellows, the third baseman. First pitch on its way, and we'll have a ball. Here's the pitch. Swung on. It'll foul back into the batter. Get us even at one. For Jared Bellows, he is two for two. A double with a line drive into left and a grounder down the left base or down the gap between the third baseman and the shortstop to get him on in his last at bat. Got an RBI under his belt as well. Here's the pitch, and that one's going to hop in front of the plate, and we'll have 2 1 on the count. 5 2 Outlaws. Bottom of five on seven innings. Nearing with the stretch. And we'll be even on the count at two. Nathan Zard in the on deck circle with two outs and nobody on. The pitch. Swung on, reaching for it, fouls it off, and the batter stays alive at two. Got a little something hanging on my microphone folks and it's got in the corner of my eye and just driving me nuts it's no big deal but man alive here's the pitch and the batter will be rung up for the final out of the inning so it's one two three for the Mavericks we go to the top of the sixth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network Have you checked out the Garden of Breeden video of the week at MPSN406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.MPSN406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. NPSN.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to Denton Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the top of the sixth inning where Gallatin Valley leads Miles City. Our leadoff man is the six-hole batter, Kyle Grievous. So six, seven, eight, due up on the inning. Nick Anderson with the stretch and the first pitch of the inning is on its way for ball one. Next game is at 4 o'clock with Laurel and Belgrade. 7 o'clock game will have the Glacier Twins and the Bitterroot Red Sox. Western Conference rivals. We go 2-0 on the count. Grievous, 2 for 2, or 0 for 2, I should say. And we go 3-0 on the count. Here's Anderson with the pitch. And Anderson will get himself in the count on the 3-0. Thomas Carlson in the on-deck circle for the Outlaws. So here's the 3-1 by Anderson, and the batter will be walked to lead off the inning. That's the only second walk of the game for Anderson. Here in the top of the six, scheduled for seven, we go to the third baseman, Thomas Carlson. Anderson will check the runner at first and the stretch. And we'll have strike one. Anderson now with the pitch. 
That one's going to be hit. Shortstop will pick it up in the dirt. The throw to second, and they'll get the double play turned. As the second baseman lost his glasses on the throw. And they will clean out the bases to put two outs up on the board. And we go to Brady Jones. So two outs on the board. Here's Anderson with the pitch. And it'll be upstairs for ball one. Connor Johnson in the on-deck circle with two outs and nobody on for the outlaws. Here's Anderson with the stretch. And the batter will be tagged in the backside to put a runner at first to once again with two outs. That'll be the second time that Anderson has tagged a batter. So that brings up the bottom of the order for the Outlaws. Number 20, Connor Johnson, the center fielder. So two outs as we update the scoreboard. First pitch will be ball one to Johnson. Johnson walked his first at bat. He would pop out to the pitcher his second. Here's Anderson. And we'll get ball two. Now, two Lead off batter stands in the on deck circle for the Outlaws. Swung on. This one's going to bounce to the shortstop. He'll make the race to the bag, and that's the side. So three up, three down. Bottom of the sixth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take your hockey fix in your Welcome to the bottom of the sixth inning. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we have the Gallatin Valley Outlaws ahead of the host team, Miles City Mavericks, 5-2. to two. Seven innings played on all tournament games. And the bottom of the sixth, we will have the middle of the order, five, six, seven batters due up for the Outlaws. Leading off is the designated hitter, Nathan Zard with Hager and Klein, Hager in the on deck and Klein in the hole. It is Michael Nehring on the bump for the Outlaws. First pitch of the inning is on its way and it will get away from the catcher for ball one. One down, or one up. Lead-off batter on the inning, and he'll let that one go by to get us to ball two. Unofficially, 66 pitches for Nehring. This one's going to be hit into left field. It'll be foul down the line, and it will get the pitcher into the count at 2-1. Gorgeous day here in Miles City. The smoke has blown out here. You can see the big, beautiful blue sky. Here's the 2-1. And we'll be even at 2. Caden Hager in the on-deck circle. The pitch. And this one's going to be rolled out. Shortstop can't get to it. It's into left field, and... 
the designated hitter will find himself on for the third time today. And that brings up the right fielder, Caden Hager. They say he's in center field now. And the pitch will be strike one. Outlaw, I mean, Mavericks playing with the DH today. The pitch upstairs gets us even at one. Nobody out, runner at first. Leadoff man at first on the inning. Here's the pitch. Runner hops to go, but they don't send him, and we get ball two. Jack Klein in the on-deck circle. Here's the pitch, and this one's going to be hit over second base. It rolls into center field, and with no outs, the Mavericks put runners at first and second. Rally caps here in the bottom. Oops, I'm adding hits where there should be run or runs where, hits where there's supposed to be runs. And that will bring a conference in on the mound. Trying to prevent these Mavericks from coming back. You know, Mavericks played hot baseball through the season. They came into the tournament number two out of the East, the host team. Always fun to hang out in Miles City. I'm not quite sure if many of you viewers know about the festivities that happen in the spring here in Miles City called the Bucking Horse Sale, but uh, it's a good time had by all. A long time tradition here in the Miles City area. So the conference over, and at the plate is number 21, Everybody squeezed in, looking for the bunt on the infield. Here's the pitch, and it'll slide over the plate for strike one. So no outs on the board with runners at first and second here in the bottom of the sixth. It's rally time. Here's the pitch, showing bunt. Runner's going to go, throw to third, and there's the tag for out number one. Runner at first will hold, and they get the leadoff runner. Pitch thrown was a ball, so we even out at one. Murray in the on-deck circle for the Mavericks. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this one is line drive into center field. That will put runners at first and second once again. And we come to Cameron Murray, the first baseman. So runners at first and second with one out. Murray to settle in, and here's the stretch by Nairing. Swung on, this one's past the shortstop. And the single will load the bases up. With one out on the board for the Mavericks and it looks like things might be slipping away. Once again, loaded bases, one out. And we go to the bottom of the order, Kip Krebsbach, the, cent the outfielder, and he'll let the pitch slide by for strike one. There were changes made in the outfield. Not quite sure where everybody went, but I do know that Hager is in center now, so that means maybe Krebsbach and 
Donardi. Your right and left fielders as pitch number two will slide over the plate to get us 0-2 on the count. <clears throat> One down, runners standing at each bag. Here's the pitch, and it will get us the first ball of the at-bat. So 1-2 on the count. Nayring starting to slow down, and there is movement in the bullpen for the Outlaws. Here's the pitch, and we'll have ball one, or 2-2. I did not get the ball on the board on the last one. So Krebsbach, bottom of the order. The pitch, and it's foul down the first baseline. Keeps the batter alive, even at two. We've got number 16 warming up in the bullpen for Gallatin Valley. 26, I apologize. That's Caleb Cameraman. This one's hit hard down the first baseline and out of play foul. Keep the batter alive. So number 26, Caleb Cameraman. Warming up. Bottom of six. Bases drunk. One out and a 2-2 count to the center fielder. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to roll right home. They're going to throw home. The tag home. The throw to first is... Off target, the runner from second is around the corner of the third and on his way home. And the Mavericks will earn a run regardless. The fielder's choice. And they'll put an out on the board to make it two outs. Runners on the corners. And they're going to charge an error, so that will be on the side of the Outlaws. And we have a new batter at the plate. So number 12 at the plate in place of Denardi. Nayring now with the stretch. And the first pitch will be swung on for strike one. Swung on and we'll have strike two. And the check swing will turn into a hit, an out at first, and that is the side. So two left on. One run earned, and it's 5-3. We go to top of the seventh with the Outlaws holding on. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. 
Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are in the top of the seventh. Final inning of the game. If we do not get an equalizer, out of the Mavericks, Outlaws lead 5-3. to three. And it is the top of the order. Nick Anderson on the hill. He has pitched through all six innings so far. And I don't see anything in the bullpen down the first baseline, so I'm not quite sure they will warm somebody up. There is somebody warming up for the Outlaws over in their bullpen on the third baseline. So it's Derek DeFrance to start things off. Top of the order, top of the seventh. First pitch of the inning on its way, and it'll slide over the plate for strike one. So DeFrance, Murphy, and Johnson up for the Outlaws. And we'll have an even count at one to the left fielder. And we go 2-1 now off the ball. For DeFrance, he's one for three. Had a double on a line drive into left, his second at bat. Here's the pitch, and it'll slide by to get us into a batter's count at 3-1. Murphy, Ryan Murphy in the on-deck circle. Here's the 3-1, and the batter will be walked to start the inning. That's the third inning in the game that Anderson has put a runner at first off the walk. So we come to the first baseman, Ryan Murphy, with no outs and a runner at first. Top of seven. Five, three outlaws over the Mavericks, and the first pitch to Murphy will be over the plate for strike one. Next game is at 4 o'clock, folks. That'll be Laurel and Belgrade. By the end of the today, we will be down to four teams. Six up, two down at the end of the day. Anderson checks the runner at first, and time is called. And we are set to go. Anderson with the stretch now. And we'll have an even count at one on the high pitch. Hunter Johnson in the on-deck circle with one on and no outs. Pitcher in the pen is done. Anderson with the pitch, and he's going to tag the batter right on the 5 of the 25. And that's the third on the day. That puts runners at first and second with no outs. And we go to the catcher, Hunter Johnson. So a walk and a hit by pitch. And this is going to cause a visit by the pitching coach. He's going to come out and check in with his pitching staff. There is a DH in the system. I have not seen anybody warm up, and this is just a visit. If you like to get a good workout, folks, you're traveling throughout the state of Montana, you should stop in and see the only gym from Montana for Montana, Fuel Fitness. Fuel Fitness is the power behind MPSN, our coverage of Legion Baseball. They're located in Helena, Great Falls, Billings, Bozeman, Missoula, and Kalispell. Fuel Fitness. The only gym from Montana for Montana. So we get back into the action with Hunter Johnson waiting for his first pitch. And Anderson will check the runner at second. Pitch is going to be outside for ball one. Michael Nering in the on-deck circle for the Outlaws. Here's the 1-0, and it's going to be hit. Towards right, it is in the glove. Runners will hold, and we've got one down here on the top of the seventh. So.
So we go to the pitcher, Michael Nehring. Nehring, one for two with a hit by pitch. He had a line drive, his first at bat that got him on. The first pitch will slide over the plate for strike one. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be off the elbow of the batter to load the bases up. So with loaded bases and one out, Mavericks looking to turn a double play, bringing up Michael Jones, the shortstop. Jones, sack fly RBI, is second at bat in a line drive into right field. His first at bat. Last at bat would be a fly out to left. <clears throat> so Anderson gets ready to go. Here's the first here's the first pitch. And we'll have ball one. Mavericks need to finish out the side so they have an opportunity without earning any runs. This one's a line drive. It'll hop in front of the center fielder. Brings runner home from third. And the Outlaws tack on another run. With one out, they make it 6-3. Bases stay drunk. And we go to Kyle Grievous, the right fielder. Anderson with the pitch, and Grievous is going to have this one roll deep into left field. Runner from third is home, and the Outlaws are happy to just keep the bases loaded and runs turning. And we come to... Thomas Carlson as we have a pitching change in the mix. So Anderson's done. We'll have the new pitcher up when we come back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as the new pitcher is warming up on the mound for the Mavericks. It is Caden Columbic. So for Nick Anderson, six and a third innings, walk two, hit four, allowed seven runs off of eight hits, 80 total pitches thrown, 49 of which slid over the plate. With one out, their bases are loaded for the Outlaws. And Columbic trying to come in and shut this one down to give the Outlaws a chance in the bottom of the seventh. Miles City is facing their second loss of the tournament as this one will be a ball. 
to Thomas Carlson. Carlson one for two. Hit by a pitch and a grounder to first base to get him on. He'll let the second pitch go by and will be even at one on the count. <clears throat> Brady Jones in the on-deck circle for the Outlaws with one out and loaded bases. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And we'll have ball two. Next game is at four. We will have Laurel and Belgrade on the docket. Another win or move on game. Here's the pitch. And it's high to get us to ball three. Columbic coming in. To try to squeeze off these outlaws as they've opened the spigot and that pitch is going to be high. It's a walk that will earn a run on the loaded bases. And the outlaws out in front, 8-3. to three. So now we go to Brady Jones, the second baseman. Columbic with the stretch. And it'll be a ball. The 1-0 will result in ball two. And the catcher says, I need to talk to his pitcher. Umpire Olip says, okay. And now the pitcher and the catcher will have a conference on the mound. Top of seven. Gallatin Valley with five runs on the Mavericks of Mile City. Eight to three. Loaded bases with one out. Jones hit by a pitch his last at bat. We are one batter away from running the stretch as we'll have ball three. So Columbic coming in, walking the first batter. Out of eight pitches. One of them has gone over the plate. Here's the pitch. And that will walk a batter to bring a runner home. And the bases stay loaded. Outlaws 9-3, and that will warrant a visit. Infield will come in to check in on this one. You know, folks, if you're looking for some place to take care of some banners, some copies, and... Looks like we might see ourselves with a pitching change. Nope. So it looks like maybe the first baseman is going to go to the hill. We might have ourselves another pitching change. As Murray is on his way out, changing his gloves out. So Murray is up. We'll step aside while they let the new pitcher warm up. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third building. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for you. Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. 
If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion Baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana Alberta State Tournaments. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as we have our new pitcher on the mound. The first baseman has slid over and is on the bump. And Columbic will be the first baseman for the Mavericks. So Murray now to throw. Bottom of the order and Connor Johnson. One out and loaded bases. First pitch of the inning will slide over the plate for strike one, and that's what the Maverick pitching staff was looking for out of Columbic. Here's Murray with the pitch, and that one's going to be over the head. Runners will come down the line and change. The runner at home is safe, and that's a run on the board for the Outlaws to make it 10-3. Everybody rotates. Runners at second and third now. With Grievous coming in. The two walk batters by Columbic stand at second and third. Gives us an even count at one on the board. Johnson is 0 for 2 with a walk. Pop out to the pitcher, his second at bat, a ground out to the shortstop, his last at bat, and he was walked his first opportunity at bat in the top of the third inning. Here's the pitch, and swung on for strike two. So Murray getting the batter to commit. Runners at second and third with one out. Mavericks looking to shut the faucet off here. Foul back. Batter stays live at 1-2. Winner moves on. Depending on how things lay out here. Not sure who will play where. But the two games tomorrow will be at 1 and 4. Here's the pitch, and we'll be even at two. Our second win or go home game is at four o'clock, folks. That's Laurel and Belgrade. Here's the two-two. Swung on, and the second out of the inning will be a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of the game for the Mavericks, folks. I can double check and look at my stats here. But that is the first strikeout of the game here in the top of the seventh for out number two. Runners at second and third, and we go to... The top of the order to Derek DeFrance. And we'll have strike one. So we have gone through the order here in the top of the seventh for the Outlaws. Here's the 1-0. 1-1. Ryan Murphy in the on-deck circle for the Outlaws with two outs and runners at second and third. Cameron Murray with the stretch. Swung on and he'll get the batter to commit for strike two.
Mavericks trying to get through the top of the seventh, so they have their opportunity. They've got a big hill to climb down 10-3 to, to extend the game. Here's the one-two. Swung on, contact will get us a foul ball. Keeps the batter alive at one-two. Mavericks get through the inning. It is the top of their order, the two, three, four batters scheduled up. That's the meat right there, folks. That's a good sign for the Mavericks if they can get there. So one, two on the count. Swung on. This one's going to be popped up. Catcher says he's got it. Looking for it. It's in the glove, and that's the side. So two hung with three scored. And we go to the bottom of the seventh where it's all or nothing for the host team. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at mpsn406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.mpsn406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. mpsn.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to Denton Field at Connor Stadium. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. It is bottom of the seventh. Do or die for Miles City. Winner of the match moves on to play the winner of one of the two matches this afternoon. Four and seven. And they're going to go ahead and keep nearing on the mound. We did see Caleb Cameron warming up in the bullpen in the last inning, but they're going to keep the starter on the bump to see how he goes out. 2-3-4 batter set up for Miles City with Jaden Venable to lead off the inning. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to roll to the third baseman. The throw to first is on target, and that's one down. The grounder to the third baseman is out number one. So that takes us to Jess Bellows, the shortstop. Bellows is going to have this one ripped to the shortstop. He'll pick it up in the dirt. The throw to first is on target, and that's two down. Nehring putting the ball on the bat where it needs to be to give the defense a chance on it. We go to the older Bellows and Jared Bellows, the third baseman, with two outs and nobody on, bottom of seven. The game in the bat of Bellows. He'll let the first pitch slide by for ball one. So we'll have a good break between games. The next one is scheduled at four. Here's the pitch, and that'll get us even at, or gives us ball two. Nathan Zard in the on-deck circle with two outs. Nobody on. Here's the pitch. Swung on. It is high into right field. The second baseman waving everybody off. In the glove, and that is the side. 2.45 is when the last ball went in the glove. And that means that the host team is out of the tournament. They fall 10-3 to the 
to the Gallatin Valley Outlaws. Ten runs earned off eight hits by Gallatin Valley. One error and three left on. For the Mavericks, it would be three runs off of ten hits. One error. And they would hang seven on. So Outlaws, they move on. The Mavericks are done on the tournament. Next game is at 4 o'clock. And the, ter- the opponent for Gallatin Valley is to be determined. We'll find out in a little bit. So one hour and 28 minutes on the game. We'll talk to you guys shortly as we get ready for the next game at 4 o'clock. Talk to you then. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Wee!